Alright man, it's your boy Young Six, so I got a little more artist, entrepreneur, um, been uh, making music for about 13 years, got a couple of hit records, and I'm based out of Nigeria and the US right now. I make music, a uh, music sound called Trap Fro, and it's a fusion of Afro being trap music. Most of the time, it, it comes in different ways, there's no particular route that I take. Um, when it comes to like making music or creating music, um, I love, I prefer creating music live in the studio with the producer. So I'm part of like the energy and the vibration and frequency in the room that brings the music to life. But regardless of that being said, sometimes you walk into the room and the producer is already taking it to a place where you just catch it and it could be a vibe. Other times the song is probably already written or you know the ideas are um, has, has already been you know created in my head and I just bring it to life with whoever I'm working with in the studio. Other times the producers could send you a beat and you just catch the vibe right there. So there's no specific route I take to creating music. Um, I, I just tend to be I just tend to have a will to want to make it work. So that's what really gets the job done for me when I'm in the studio or any space I'm in creatively. In 2023 and in this day and time, in a world where we're living in now, where everything is fast paced, we have AI assisting people, artists are dropping more records and that means artists are recording more. So you can't rely on just studio time to create music. And that's where um, Iconic Mass really came in clutch for me as an artist. Cause like you want to be in that creative space and still not lose the quality of what you're creating. And Iconic Mars has been able to give me that balance while I'm at home or in the studio. It gives me that chance to maintain the quality of creativity consistently, you know, across, you know, wherever it is I'm at. I could be, there's a record I recorded on the plane because like, I had my, I had the, the, the equipment right there with me. There's records I've recorded in my car because I had Iconic Mars right there with me. So those moments like that where the inspiration comes, but you're not in the right situation, you can create that situation for yourself if you have the right resources. And Iconic Mars has been very resourceful when it comes to keeping the quality and consistency of my music. Collaborating with a producer definitely helps bring um, artistic vision to life, not just help bring it, help you know, propel it into like a different dimension. Cause sometimes you might be seeing things from your perspective, which is good enough, but there's the other perspectives that can make it better. And sometimes the producers always provide you with those perspectives when it comes to creativity. So that's one thing that's really important, you know, in music. Cause at the end of the day, music is a two-sided thing, the creators and the consumers. And sometimes you need more creators so you can be able to, you know, better fit, create something that's appealing to the consumers. Because at the end of the day, the creators were once consumers trying to be, you know, trying to create things for a better consumer uh, community and economy. First of all, I gotta say, it has to be the, the quality of the sound. You know, at the level at which I'm working right now, like this is saying, it can't, it can't be the same way, you know? So the quality of the sound, especially when you're in the studio, the quality of the recording, you know, the quality of the music in general, you know, that's the, that's the, that's the number one thing for me. And that's what I look forward to when I'm working with, you know, anybody, the quality, how can we make, how can we match what's out there and make it better? It's not a competition, but at the end of the day, whatever is out there, it's already a standard that's appealing to, to people. So how do we match that and then step it up? So that's what I look forward to doing anytime I'm trying to collaborate with anybody. A couple of records actually, the same producers that I work with already understand my style of music and they already have like, like hit records to the name, like for example, um, E. Kelly. Anytime I work with E. Kelly, it's, it's almost like 20%, 80% of me and then 20% of him. Cause he's used to making hit records. He knows the sound that, you know, are in the studios, that are in the clubs, that are in the streets, you know, he knows some of the, the, the words, you know, and things like that. And then he's worked with so many other, um, artists too that has made hit records for so it brings that experience you know to my sessions so that's how um that's that's how you know they, they impact you know your your recordings and your music because they bring a vast experience from working with so many other artists just as talented as you maybe even more you know they bring all that experience to the table and amplify whatever it is you have to bring as a creative my first concert in my city 
um, made a made a, it, it made a significant impact in my life because like you know growing up as a kid in South South you, you grow up as a tough kid you know you grow up as a tough skin you know like you grow up with that mentality of real men you know never cry and all that type of things you know but when I was walking into the venue of my concert I saw tears dropping out my eyes because there are 5,000 people waiting for me till 2 a.m. for an event that started at 6 p.m. and it was on the same road. I used to walk like 20 miles every day just to save money to go record in, in studio sessions back then. So it hit me different while I was, you know, walking into the arena knowing that everybody came out there for me, you know. That was really impactful. And even when the lights went out, the, the crowd started singing my real name, like, oh no man, oh no man, oh no man. I'm like, it was very emotional for me, you know, and that, that really hit me different, you know, as a person, you know, you know, seeing something I worked hard for and believed in so much, you know, become real right in front of my eyes while I was in that moment, you know. Sometimes we don't get to appreciate the moments that we prayed for because there are other challenges in front of us. But those little things just give you that reality, you know, hit that, yeah, you're right there right now, what's up? Yeah, that was it. That was the moment. I'll be looking forward to working with uh, with, with Future for sure. I love Future. I love his sound. Um, having a record with Lil Wayne just for the record is something I definitely want to do. Um, aside from I'm working on those musical projects, I'll, I also love to do. Um, also love to be part of a production, you know, with someone like Fifty Cent. You know, I see myself going down that route at some point too. So yeah, um, who else? Uh, Drake, Drake definitely number one out there. Drake's the number one person I want to work with. If I had a chance to go into the studio with somebody right now, it would be Drake. He's been such, you know, an inspiration and it's and been very impactful in the hip hop culture with his style, sound and, you know, the way he does his things. According to my friend, he says, um, situation changes uh, calculation, you know. You gotta move according to the wave when you're surfing. So I deal with things, you know, differently. But at the end of the day, I feel like the biggest challenge that any corporation or individual will ever face when they're trying to oust, you know, their previous performances or oust an achievement, you know. I'm, when I say oust, I mean like, you know, getting past what you have already achieved is definitely capital. So the way I've been able to do that is to build other things around my music that keeps me financially stable. You know, that way I can spend more on my music and make more time for myself to create. You know, once everything around my music has been, you know, established in a financially stable way. So that's been, um, that's been how I deal with things uh, more often. It's not the, uh, the alpha and the omega of all the, solutions but it definitely makes it a lot easier when you have your head above the water dealing with other situations or challenges that might come definitely networking and building relationships are they have to be some of the most underrated tools in life because at the end of the day even for you to get paid a bank has to pay you the money and that has to do with individuals so at the end of the day networking socializing and um, building relationships are very important tools to help you know build a successful career because you need a network of people to actually make anything work so linking up with the right people and knowing the right relationships to nurture are very very uh, you know key important things especially when it comes to today um like today's market where we have social media you know, we have AI, we have different technologies evolving every day. It's so easy to get lost in the loop and be irrelevant, you know, but keeping a network of people who tend to always be reminded about your value through your efforts, which is obviously going to be evident to them if you're in their network. Those type of things definitely help. You got to know what you want, first of all, as an artist. You know, some people just want fame. Some people just want to make music and some people just want the lifestyle. Now, if you just want fame and you just want the lifestyle, it's probably not for you, you know. If you just want music, then maybe it's for you, but there's so much more than music that you need to have in order for you to be successful. One of those things is going to be the will because you're not always going to have what you need. The most talented people never have the, the, the most resources. 
you know they use that talent to source their resources now you need to once you realize that you have that talent the next thing you need to do is build on it you know and as an artist starting up could be very difficult especially when you're independent and you have no support because you're obviously at a stage where you need people to believe in you one of the first things you're going to need is a is a it's a studio setup and most people can afford to get like a full studio so like even me myself even though i go to studios like this all the time also i have like my mobile studio at home and i obviously got the comments so those are things that keep me being creative because one thing that could stop an artist from getting to the peak of his um getting to the to the peak level of his of his talent or the prime of his skill it's not being able to create as much because one thing that creating does is it makes you better it's like a full Ball skill. The more you, the more you do it, the more you get better at it. So the more you record, obviously, the more you get better at it. And the more you record quality music, the more your music is gonna get better. So you need that setup, and you definitely need um, like a comet, you know, um, as part of the things that you um, use. And another thing that you need right now in this day and age is definitely social media, because you need to think of social media as your own channel as your own cable network and people tune in to watch your content so you can decide what it is you want to show on there and nobody's in charge nobody tells you when to post when not to post so you can use that as your channel to showcase your talent and the music that you have because you can easily put yourself out there by having good quality content and in this day and age if you're an artist definitely good quality music social media is one of the best places to showcase it this is your boy yo six swag on the spaceship want to give a big united shout out a south shout because i'm from the south so south shout to iconic mars the six way keep it locked